Hi there, this is Coach AJ, and you're watching another Fully Fit Tip clip. How do you perceive others? How do you see people? How do you judge people? Think about this. A lot of times our relationships are based off of how we see and perceive things, especially people. And a lot of times we see their situation with a lens of judgment. And I'm going to challenge you here in this quick little clip here of how you perceive others, what your perception is. Maybe it's time to take off the lens that you've been using this entire time and look at how you can see others with a new lens, with a new focus. See them with grace, see them with forgiveness, see them with mercy. A lot of times we look at people and their circumstance and we quickly judge based off of what we think is right, what we think is wrong, what we think is you know, evil or good or whatever. And I get there are some defining lines there, but also we have to understand there are some gray areas here and there that we have to understand. Not everyone who's an alcoholic is evil. Not everyone who is unfaithful is a scumbag, an evil, ugly person. Not everyone who has stolen is a rep repeated thief. You know, you think about those instances in our lives where we've made mistakes. There are some people who make the same recurring mistake, maybe because of addiction, or maybe because they're just, they are evil, but, or maybe because there's something underlying underneath the surface that they haven't dealt with or healed from. And you have to look at those aspects, how you see others. And you have to ask the question is, what is their story? Because we all have a story. We all have a background. We all have a past. And a lot of times our past, our story dictates our actions. It dictates how we perceive things, how we act towards things, how we act towards stimulation and whatnot. And so I want to challenge you is that before you start making that preconceived notion in your head about the homeless person asking for money, your quick assumptions, well, they're just an addict and they're just scum. Well, maybe they're an addict for a reason. Maybe they're a veteran. And because of their addiction to all these pain painkillers that they were just thrust upon while being in the military, now they're addicted. They lost their job. They can't work anywhere because of their, their addiction. And then now they're panhandling and begging for money because they're trying to feed their addiction. That's all they know. Maybe you look at that past. You know, maybe that person who is an alcoholic, maybe because they were abused or mistreated or whatever, you know. Or you look at that person who was unfaithful to their boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whatever, and you look at that and you're like, well, there is a scumbag. Or maybe there was something that propelled them towards that situation that caused them to make that poor decision. It's not, not excusing what they're doing. And in every aspect, wrong is wrong and right is right. But we have to look at the through a lens of forgiveness and mercy and understanding and helping people be more successful. And the only way we make we help people become more successful and we make this world a better place is by seeing people through a different lens, the lens of forgiveness, mercy, and understanding. Because again, think about this, you're thinking, well, I wouldn't do that, that wouldn't be me, but you never know when you will be in that spot and someone's looking at you with that same kind of judgment. So my challenge for you as you look at the people around you, look at the world around you based off decisions or circumstance and why this person is a jerk because they're just a jerk or maybe they're a jerk because they go home to a very terrible lifestyle at home. Maybe their spouse is terrible and abusive or whatever or whatever is happening in their personal life. You, know, you look at all those things. Don't just judge someone off of the face value, off of the cover. Like don't judge a book by its cover. Look at the depth. Ask the question, what is their story? Maybe there's more to it. And when you do that, you're able to build bridges instead of walls and build true relationships. And maybe you're that person who can help them heal and help them grow. Now, I'm not saying, here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying go date someone who's messed up so you can fix them. Don't do that. Don't try to, you know, marry someone so you can fix them. Don't do that either. That's, a, that's dangerous. You know, but maybe as a friend, as a confidant, you help people grow. Instead of just judging and pointing the finger, you help them grow through their process. I'm not saying in an intimate relationship. I'm saying be safe, protect yourself as well, but open your eyes, have a lens, be forgiving, be understanding, but also have wisdom. I'm Coach AJ, and you just watched another fully fit tip clip about relationships and how we perceive them.
Thanks for watching.